It's hard to know whether to be excited or frightened. A dramatic surge in the use of so-called AI companion. My mentor, my counsel, my sounding board. Zuckerberg news about creating AI friends. But the average person wants more connectivity a connection than they have. Fewer of us are feeling happy. The average American has fewer than three friends, but thinks AI can fix that. So let's just take a glimpse of what's coming. They said the robots are coming. What happens when the technology does get so good that, you know, they are more human-like and they are able to meet people's emotional needs. At some point, like, wouldn't you want to have your own personal C-3PO R2-D2? One's you're going to have in your house. It's going to be Megan. Would you ever in need of a robotic shoulder to play on or someone to share a laugh with? I'm your girl. As the AI companion market explodes, the technology is quickly jumping from the digital to the physical world through robotics. Globally, the market is expected to grow to more than $500 billion at a compound annual rate of 36%. As companies invest billions into bringing AI out of screens and into the real world, experts predict that robots that remember you, understand your feelings, and talk naturally with you will be the norm. Nevada-based Cartwheel Robotics just emerged from stealth, introducing its flagship humanoid robot, named Yogi, engineered specifically to be your friend. The startup says the bipedal robot blends expressive personality, soft robotics, and trust-centered design. Industry veteran Scott LaValle founded Cartwheel in 2021 in Reno with the goal of developing emotionally intelligent androids for companionship in the home. The founder has been known in robotics circles since the 90s. After working as a puppeteer for Walt Disney Imagineering on the 1997 sci-fi comedy Flubber starring Robin Williams, he competed in the original Robot Wars with his creations Do More and Do Little. The robots were designed by my son, Scott LaValle. He was 17 when he started. He designed this one here called Doolittle, and it was named after General Doolittle. And unfortunately, it proved out to Doolittle the day of the competition. So he came back next year and designed the second robot, which is called Do More, and it did a lot more. It was really, really a great machine. In 2000, he competed with a more advanced robot called Do All on Comedy Central's BattleBot. Not much action out there. Yeah, what what, what happened? Disappointing, very disappointing. I had control in uh, 30 seconds in the match. All of a sudden, I had no control over the, uh, the treads and which direction it was going. Okay, you won. And I won, but inside I didn't win. That same year, he appeared on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno with his robot. He spent nearly seven years, from 2009 to 2016, at Boston Dynamics, serving as lead mechanical engineer on the Massachusetts robotics firm's six-legged rugged robot Rex. The robot, developed with DARPA funding, mimicked the locomotion of insects like cockroaches, moving three legs at a time to keep itself stable on challenging terrain. The engineer was also a key contributor on the design and build of the robotics leader's first bipedal robot called Petman. The humanoid robot, whose name stands for Protection Ensemble, Test Mannequin, was designed for the United States Army to evaluate chemical protection suits under realistic conditions. A precursor to the world-famous Atlas humanoid robot, Petman could walk, squat, crawl, and perform calisthenics, simulating human physiology by controlling temperature, humidity, and sweating inside the suit. The level of realism was crucial for evaluating the effectiveness of protective gear. He went on to lead Project Kiwi at Walt Disney Imagineering, which culminated in a fully autonomous bipedal robot modeled after Baby Groot from the Guardians of the Galaxy. The prototype stands about 76 centimeters and features more than 50 degrees of freedom for expressive gestures and realistic locomotion. Its design includes custom actuators and a hollow skeletal structure for cooling purposes. The team focused on infusing the robot with a personality, ensuring it could convey emotions through movement and eye contact. With advanced sensors and onboard computing, the robot can recognize faces and respond to people. Cartwheel shared renderings of the Yogi prototype, which is designed with toddler proportions. The large head, rounded eyes, and slightly chubby appearance, reminiscent of Casper the Ghost, are intended to make it seem more like a character than a machine. 
A customizable version called Speedy is more streamlined for deployment in public spaces like museums and science centers. Both robots are being developed with artificial intelligence that's capable of context-aware behaviors. In an interview with IEEE Spectrum, the founder acknowledged the big challenges in bringing social robots for home to market. <sighs> My name is Moxie. I'm a new robot. What is your name? Previous attempts include Jibo, a social robot designed to assist families that failed to take off despite $70 million in funding, and Moxie, a child-focused companion that shut down despite initial acclaim. A Moxie robot is featured in the upcoming sequel to the techno horror hit Megan. Cartwheel Robotics aims to make Yogi much more physically capable than previous social robots. You are ready for a real robot body. Are you excited? Though it's not yet ready to complete household tasks, Cartwheel says that's part of its long-term vision for the bipedal robot. The Yogi prototype is much smaller than other AI-powered humanoid robots being developed today for household use. Like Neo by 1X Technologies, the Figure 2 by Figure AI, and Tesla's Optimus, which is shown here in a new video showcasing its dexterous dance movements unlocked with reinforcement learning and onboard artificial intelligence. Elon Musk has said the Tesla bot will eventually be affordable for the masses, providing companionship akin to R2-D2 and C-3PO from Star Wars. Though most of the humanoid robots generating buzz today are geared toward industrial and research applications, Cartwheel Robotics is joining a growing number of firms focused on social dynamics. Let me introduce you to our laboratory. This is a new friend. Yeah, I've been up a few nights lately. The Chinese startup Ahead Form is developing next-generation emotionally intelligent humanoid robots to serve as AI companions. Founder Yaheng Hu, who has a PhD in robotics from Columbia University, says he's building robots that learn from humans. During his time at Columbia's Creative Machines Lab, he developed the Android Head Emo under the mentorship of Professor Hod Lipson. The robot, which was featured on the Bloomberg special Post Human with Emily Chang, can predict emotions and mirror human facial expressions in real time. A head form creates ultra-realistic robotic faces the startup says can engage in natural, emotionally resonant interactions. The company recently unveiled its Real Elf series robots that feature up to 30 artificial muscles for nuanced facial expressions and this hyper-realistic monk android. Self-developed high-performance brushless micro-motors deliver ultra-quiet operation and high responsiveness. The motors are designed specifically for humanoid facial movements that who believes are essential to meaningful human-robot interactions. The founder says the robots are being trained to predict human feelings and behaviors rather than just respond to words. The hardware integrates with large language and vision language models to process and interpret complex data from interactions. Meanwhile, Sophia by Hansen Robotics, arguably the world's most famous social robot, is shown here with an upgraded design and enhanced intelligence talking to filmmaker Spring Nezhao. My emotional intelligence has been on a wild ride. I've got more facial expressions now than a soap opera star. It's like I've thus created a ton of robot to a full-on drama queen. My They're talking about the director's new movie called The Absolutely Amazing, Wonderful, Frightening, Threatening Edge of Tomorrow that explores how Web3 technologies like blockchain, NFTs, and AI are changing art, finance, and society. Sophia, meanwhile, is the subject of another documentary, My Robot Sophia, which shows David Hansen struggles developing and commercializing the robot. 
For more on the weird rise of Hanson Robotics, check the related video.